I guess I could give this a go. I knew it! There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Let's ride this wind current, shall we?
Leave it to me. It's an Electro Monument. No wonder. Let me try to activate it with a bit of Electro Power. Stand back. Ladies. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. Wet enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod.
What? You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you more... Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds... Hate the city it was supposed to protect. Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. should hopefully be back to normal. Wanna go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animoculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues.
blade! cooking skills surpass that of good hunters? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down. Getting quite busy recently. You're also here for Mondstadt's wine, aren't you? Let's go and see what she wants. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. 
time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait! Are you saying we're like, official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. <laughs> New recruits these days certainly do not beat around the bush. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss.